So the next trick is fuzzy lookup. So we're going to do a lookup without a unique key. So I'll show you the Excel files first, and then we'll see how we're going to do this auto automatically in Power Query, right? So let me open, I have some Excel files. I'm interested in lookup Excel files for referee and results. So if you're a football fan, you'll understand this data. This is, I have dates here. I have my home team, which is Man U. Yes, I support Man U. I'm sorry for you guys that don't. Anyway, um, yes, yes, we're in trouble nowadays, but we'll get back. We'll come out of it, you know. Can't be winning every time. Just you have to give other people a chance, right? So anyway, away team is Leicester. So we have home team, away team. We have our home score and away score. Now, anytime we lose, I'm sure it's the referee's fault. So one thing we would like to have is the name of the referee that really uh, manned this whole match. Is we need to know the referee's name. I need to know the referee's name here. Yeah. So where do I get that data? Well, I have another table called referees, which I, all this data is from the internet. We downloaded it. Ahmed downloaded it for us. Check Ahmed out. Really cool. He went and downloaded football data. I can't remember what team he supports, but anyway, that's fine. So dates, home, away, and referee. So if you look at this data, you have your date, the match happened, home team, away team, and referee. So this uniquely identifies, this three uniquely identifies um, the data. Now, if I was doing VLOOKUP, I mean, what would I do to get referee in here? If I was doing VLOOKUP, right, I want referee, referee. Uh, I would need to concatenate, if you guys know concatenate, concatenate this three, have it as another column, then do a VLOOKUP of that to the other sheet and blah, 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 and then get the referee, right? Uh, I'm not going to do that. No, thank you very much. I want to do all this VLOOKUP without a unique reference in Power Query. So let's see how that works. I'm closing this. Don't save, and I'm closing this guy. And yeah, I can do it here in Excel. You know Power Query is in Excel, but I want to do it in Power BI. So I'm back here. So lookup without unique key. How do we do that? Let's go to the query. Edit query. So we're going to bring in um let's just edit query i'm going to bring in the data obviously so and then we're now going to do some interesting merging so here i'm going to get data new source is in excel i need to browse this is the lookup it's referee data and result data so let's take the result data and we'll just bring that in this is my results data i just take it and say okay bring the result data in let's call it this is called results this is fine let's bring in the um, other data so i'll get another data this is my referee data right so this is referee data and result data so if uh, in excel i could be probably managing this data and uh, um, this data keeps growing so that's fine so here I want to combine the referee information. All I need from this is this referee. I just want to add this referee to my results. Yeah, right. So how how do I do that? Let's let's create a new query. So it's like I need to take results starting from results, and I need to like group. I need to merge. I need to merge my query. So I'm going to create a merge query, but instead of overriding this query i want to create a new a query merge queries but as new as a completely new query so i'm going to merge query starting with my results i want to merge it to my referees data and here i'm just going to do a left outer join all these fields these fields here all the way here i'm merging it to this fields here all these fields yeah one two three one two three and I'm doing a left outer join, which means this is what I want to join to this one, right? So anyway, let's see how that works. Let's say, okay, so the selection has matched 790 out of 790. This looks cool, doesn't it? That means all the data here is all here. It's already matched it. So this is VLOOKUP, right? So click OK. And what happens? You have your data that has come in and you have your merge. Let's just call this the, oh, I call it the lookup. We're not done yet, but I'll just call this the lookup. Okay, so I enter lookup. 
So this is the referee table, I mean the referee data I brought in. If I expand this, all I need from this, I don't need the data, I have the data, I don't need home, I don't need away. All I need is the referee's name. So click OK and see the referee's name comes in. In fact, I can take this guy and take it to the left so that now I have eight home team, away team, referee, and then my data. And these two files are still there. See, these two files are there. I can keep on growing as they like. And then this is my third query, which is my lookup query. Perfect. And I can load this and do all my analysis I like. So that is how you do a lookup even without a reference. You've just created a reference for yourself instead of doing all this in, in Excel. It's far better and more efficient to do it here in Power Query. So I'll apply the steps. So results, this, I've applied all of them. So you see we've done our query. So in fact, all these three, let me create a folder. Let's be a bit neat here because I needed three things here. So I'm going to create a group. And this group, I'm going to call it the lookup. I'm just going to call it lookup, right? Um, how to do the lookup in Power Query without, even without a reference, right? Even without a reference, right? So I click OK. So I create a folder. And I can now take these three guys. Uh, I'll just, unfortunately, I can't drag it. Maybe later we can drag. But for now, I just have to right click and say uh, move to group lookup. Right click and uh, move to group, uh, move to group lookup. Right click and move, come on, move to lookup. So this, I'm just being organized, right? So that's lookup. So what's our next um, what's the next trick? 